Hello, gorgeous, and welcome back. Yay! It's your girl show. Did you miss me? Maybe. Just a little bit. Itsy bitsy. <laughs> I was gone for, oh gosh, like a couple, three weeks now. Um, took a little time off for moi. And I did have some technical equipment difficulties, but that's been fixed. So we are back. Brand new camera whole nine yards and I've got some stuff that I've been sitting on for a few weeks now and yes I've already put my fingers in it because y'all know me it's the haha, Colourpop garden variety I've got the palette I have got the bloom together and this is a blush and a luxe lip oil. So we're gonna be putting an actual lip on and probably maybe put that on top, we'll see. Um, and then I got a couple of, I got a really pretty liner and then I'll start off with this. This is just fun. I don't know that I'll ever really, really, really use it, but darn it, it's fun. It is a ColourPop Q T mark. Boom. It's a little heart shaped stamp. And I think they've got two others. I think they have a star and a crescent moon. So I could you know, do a little, little beauty mark, a little uh, Marie Antoinette. So it, it's fun. I have it. I don't know that I'll ever use it, but I like it. So, next, I'm going to show off this cream gel liner I got. Isn't that gorgeous? Isn't she pretty? So, I'm going to see if I can work that in today. Mm. piece of hair at the end of my nose um now one thing I, I do I love the colors on these however they are so soft you have to use them just right up against the thing because if you extend them and try and like do an eyeliner look they end up breaking on me all the time so it's so a great for in the water line so that's probably what I'll use it for today if I can Managed to work it in. But let's do the bloom together. Open that up. There we go. Boom. Okay. It's the lip oil. It's very pretty. It's a little shimmer to it. Okay, I might not actually want to put that on top of. Yeah, that is an oil. That's going to ruin any lip that I have on. So, put it on now. It smells kind of like peppermint. A little, no. Something in the mint family. Maybe wintergreen? Mm. It feels really nice, but you won't be able to put it over any type of liquid lip because it'll just eat it. It'll, you know, disintegrate it, basically. So. But it's cute if you just want a little nude kind of fresh look type of thing. And then this is the blush night bloom. What was the color on this? Rain check. Okay. So that is the blush. Now I have that oil on several fingers. There we go. There's a clean one. Mm. 
Wow, this is very, very pale. It's kind of a pinky lavender, so we will we'll go with that. I wonder if they didn't sit on this and this was supposed to be a spring line. It's a very pinky. Springy look. Definitely what, not what I'm going for this evening. I'm going to a tiny little gathering. It is a birthday get together um, for a friend of a friend and it's going to be outside. There were like 20 people invited so don't come at me about social distancing and whatnot. This is very small and it's mostly going to be strangers so I'm going to know like three people there so don't have to worry about me staying away from other people because we don't like strangers. Strangers are bad. <clears throat> but coffee is good. So, yeah, it's very pinky. I would, I would say this is very spring-like. And then I have, like I said, put my fingers in it. So we're going to try and do a darker look out of this. These are lovely. A lot of shimmers. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten are shimmers and I've played around in this just a little bit and the shimmers get everywhere here's the first one that's deserted we're gonna do that on the top I think I will go in with stay sharp as my all over One with Rudum Up, which is the dark brown in the corner. There we go. A little twist. And then some of these shimmers are just gorgeous shimmers, metallics. This one is called Don't Leaf. Kind of orangey, goldy. It's very soft in the pan. Look at this green. That's called Best Buds. And then this one. It's third Eye. It's just a gold. But we all know after after a while of doing this, I have got gold coming out of my ears. Here's one called Synergy. It's a very pretty pale pink. This one is herbivore, and it's a very pale orangey. I'm going to use my pretty, pretty Tom Ford brushes. Or my Wayne Goss brushes. Goodness. Tom Ford brushes. Look at me thinking I'm bougie. <laughs> wow. All right. Please, the day I can afford Tom Ford brushes or the day somebody sends me Tom Ford brushes, then I'll know I really made it. All right. Actually, 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 put these all down here. There is a top color here, which I think will be better for an all over transition. It's more of a peachy orangey. It's called Prickly Please. So we'll, we'll start with that and then kind of work around. There's no mirror in the palette, so I don't 
something like that. Y'all know I love mirroring my palette. Need a prettier clip. That is nice. These are powdery. But, you know, powdery for I think this palette was like $18. I can't really complain. I get super aggravated about palettes that are powdery when you're spending 50 some odd dollars on them. Just saying. Okay. That is good. Right, let's take that Stay Sharp, just a little bit darker brown. I'm gonna go into the crease here. This is kind of a little flat brush on going on, on both sides. So it's into the crease, and then because of the hooded eyes, pull it up just a little bit. But without the hoods, you just go in just straight in the crease. Okay, I'm going to take that first brush again. Tap it out really good and give her a blend. Hey. Yes. Alrighty. I want to take Rooting up, which is that very, very, very dark brown, and go into our little V. So, a little. The sun's really coming in. It is late afternoon. Okay, just kind of packing this all over the brush. Giving her a tap off. Back in with the first brush. Give it a blend. Give it a blend. Now, we've got some choices here. So I want to do a shimmer. Mmm. Mmm. Anyway, I will smoke out my lower line. And I'll think about it. So I'm going to go back in with Stay Sharp, which is that medium brown. I'll take that 
take a little bit of rooted up just a smidge. Just a smidge. And then I'm going to go ahead and do that eyeliner in the waterline. I'll do that over here because I know it's squakes you out. Mm. Oh. Oh, yes, that's very pretty. All right. So, yeah, let's do that green. Go on with the best buds. With a finger. Because it's not going on with a brush. That's pretty. That is pretty. Let's put a little don't leaf on top of it. one just it's very soft and it doesn't come off on a finger well hmm that color I am not terribly thrilled with it's very smooshy it's almost like a cream shadow but there's hardly any payoff. So that one I'm not thrilled with. All right. Then we are gonna go in with our light little brush, meaty bitty one, wiping off a bunch of that brown. Go in with deserted, which is that white. Just right under the brow line here white bone color. Just lighten that up a little bit. Right, and then I think we will take the wavelength, which is that one here, here, and go in the inner corner. on the inner corner. I do really like that liner. That is beautiful. So that is not bad. Mm. All right, I'm gonna take off that lip oil. All right, so the lip oil I would keep as maybe a nighttime moisturizer type thing. If you just, oh, my lips feel a little dry. Um, during the day, if you're not really wearing any other makeup, because if you smudge and you hit, it's gone. I had to do a touch up. Um, it's very cute. If you have kids who want to wear makeup, this might be good for them as, you know, it's a little bit of shimmer a little bit of glitter there's not really any color so 
I don't, I don't like that oil. There, I've said it, ColourPop has made me unhappy with another product. So, but I'm gonna do a Beauty Bakery lip. It's called On, on the Rocks. It's on the rocks. I think I called it on the box on my last video, but the writing is so small. And I'm old and blind. I'm going to do that. But I'm going to do the clear lip liner that I have from Avon. I'm going to do that first because I've noticed I'm starting to get a little bit of feathering in the lips. So I love it. It is a clear lip liner. That just that makes me happy. All right. Back to Beauty Bakery. Mm, mm. Love it. Love it. Love it. There. Their stuff makes me happy. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, so we need lashes and probably a liner. Right. I'll do my Gerard Cosmetics Eternal Eyeliner. And my Glam Light Michelada Lashes, the, what were these? The Fiesta Lashes, and we'll be back. Alrighty, and we are back. Liner, lashes, yay. Oh, lashes make me happy. All right, so this is it, final product. I like it. I really want to say this palette would be good for some fall, but I think it, this mainly screams spring to me and powder. Um, this Don't Leaf, it's a gorgeous shade but there's virtually no payoff. It's very powdery, but you know, for 18 bucks, I guess you can't complain too much, right? The blush, very spring vibes, very spring vibes, but it's very pretty. That lip oil, not a fan at all. And the liner, that is gorgeous. That is so pretty. So pretty. So, all in all, I'm about 50% on the on the ColourPop haul today. Um, but other than that, we are gonna scoot. You guys have a great rest of your day, great rest of your weekend. Stay safe. Distance, mask, holding arts. Love you guys. Mwah. All my socials are down below. You know the drill. Bye.